Welcome to uh, Short Tail System Administration version 12, Configuring Users. If you have a fully deployed Short Tail solution in place, you as a system administrator will spend most of your time in this particular section. About 90% of system administration uh, is user impact, high user impact, and you're the person that's going to be dealing with making changes to user profiles, creating new users, deleting employees perhaps that have left the company, uh, reassigning extensions. And to do this effectively, you're going to know about uh, the various areas of adding a user. We're we'll be looking at uh, configuring a user. We're going to log into the shortware director. We're going to actually create a new user, give them a phone, explain the concept of class of service, uh, user groups, we'll talk about anonymous telephones, extension lists, batch utilities, uh, a feature that enables you to um, work on a group of users uh, in a big batch. Let's say we want to take all of our users from the headquarters server and move them to a DVM. We could, uh, or change their license type, for example. Rather than do that individually, we can batch it. Um, then we'll take a look at personal options. Um, various aspects of the system that can be configured specifically for a user or a group of users. So you're going to learn about call stacks, wallpapers, buttons, toolbars, global toolbars and individual toolbars, call handling rules. You'll learn how to set up Find Me. Uh, users can do this from their shortware communicator. I'll probably even show you how to do that. But um, you as a system administrator can be the uh, guy behind the curtain and fix all of these requests. So uh, let's log into an actual Shortel system and let's create our first user. So how do you add a user to a Shortel system? It's probably the easiest uh, function. I think we did a YouTube clip with a five-year-old girl um, who added a user. Um, Clearly, it's very easy to add a user, but uh, there's a complexity of configuration options, and that's what we're really going to focus on. You'll see how easy it is in just a second. First, I need to log into the shortware director. Generally, it'll be the IP address slash shortware director login will get you to this web page from any uh, network connected device. Uh, you're going to log in, and the default here is. Uh, admin and as soon as you create your first user with administrative permissions then that login will no longer work. As always we come into an area of the Shortel uh, called uh, Quick Look and we can see we have two sites Hollywood and Bollywood and we can see that uh, we apparently have an ECC server and we have a, a short gear switch here. So uh, that'll make adding a user interesting. How do you add a user? Very simple. Um, let's go over to users and you'll see a list of um, opportunities to uh, configure users. We're going to add a user and in the process of that we're going to discover user groups and class of services. Um, let's go ahead and click individual users. It brings up the users that are currently defined in this system and add a new user right here at the top of the page. And this is, um, this is what it takes to add a user to a short tail system. So I'm going to say I want to add that user to the Hollywood site. I could have picked you know, the San Diego site, the New York site. And at this point, I say go. And I get a fill it in the form kind of uh, interface here. And to add a user, let's, uh, let's add Intel uh, Washington. And uh, the system will give him the next available extension. If you don't like this, you can go ahead and um, change this. Let's give him extension 825. And if it doesn't like that, it, it'll let us know. So I've gone ahead and saved that. Now, you have just created a user in Shortel. That's all it took. Put the first name, the last name, give him an extension. The system uh, defaults to a license type expects that he will have an extension in a mailbox. 
that his access license for, for his license for his communicator is by default personal. We could have uh, selected something else to be the standard, but that's what it is. Here's what the checkbox for enable contact center integration. But before I go any further, I just want you to know this user is now created. Denzel Washington lives at extension 825. If you were to bring up a, a, um, a call manager for, for uh, someone's system, you would see that uh, you have the ability right there to uh, uh, type in his name and he will appear. He's in the system directory. You just created a voicemail box for him. Uh, he is living in your system and can be a dialed extension just by adding first name, last name, and extension number. Save it. If you didn't save it, it didn't happen. This is under the general tab of adding a new user.